Abraham had always been faithful to God and, in exchange, received many blessings from him. But his greatest gift had yet to come. Abraham and his wife Sarah were old and had no offspring. Therefore, Abraham did not have an heir. Using a vision, God told Abraham that he would finally have the son he so much wanted. It was nighttime, and God asked him to look up at the sky, trying to count the endless bright stars. And, like the stars, he said that Abraham's offspring would be numerous and inherit God's given land. But their descendants would be pilgrims, being subjected to slavery in lands ruled by others. They would remain captives for 400 years, but in the end, they would find great sources of wealth and inherit the promised land. Abraham believed in the Lord's promise, but his wife Sarah was already too old to have children. His wife believed that God's will did not regard her as someone capable of giving an heir to Abraham. She then presented her beautiful young Egyptian slave to him so that Abraham could have his son with her. He united himself with Hagar, and she gave him his first child, named Ishmael. The boy's fate was to be the patriarch of a great nation, and his descendants would spread throughout the land. Ishmael would give origin to the Arab people, who would later evolve around the Islamic culture. But Ishmael was not the son who would inherit the Promised Land, since Abraham would be the father of many nations. God again blessed Abraham. Due to this blessing, his wife Sarah, albeit old, became pregnant and gave Abraham another child. Sarah's would be called Isaac, and his descendants would create a great nation. As a sign of the pact between the people of Abraham and God, every man and child were circumcised. The offspring of God's chosen ones started to multiply, but the number of degenerate men multiplying in two cities that were the den of sin was also vast. These were the target of God's rage, cities known as Sodom and Gomorrah. 